Good morning. We are leaving the Tetons. We are leaving that campsite. The hike yesterday was literally insane. Um, I will talk about that later. Hopefully, I remember I'll, when I watch this back. I will, I guess. Um, so, last night, I'm exhausted from my hike. And I'm like, I just want to crawl in my sleeping bag. And <coughs> I didn't see this one of the like old barns and I was like well you're like you're here when are you gonna be here again go see it you know so I drove like out of my way to go see it before I went back to camp so I come back to camp my tent is gone and I was like what the fuck like I, and then there was a girl setting up her tent like a new girl I was like did you guys see a tent right here and she's like um like I don't think so and asked her boyfriend he's like no and I'm like what I was like well my tent is just gone <laughs> and she's like oh my god and I'm like yeah and then some dude walked over and he's like well there's a five day limit blah 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 so they probably took your tent and I was like I was like, this is my fifth day. Like, I haven't exceeded five fucking days. Like, what the fuck? So, I go over to, like, they're not rangers. They're just, like, people that, like, keep an eye on everything at that dispersed site, which is awesome. But, so, I go over to their trailer. I'm like, hello? And the lady comes out. And I was like, do you guys have my tent? And she was like, oh, my God. Yeah. Um, you know... The, the boys, there was two fucking 19 year old assholes camp next to me. I'm being dramatic. I, whatever. Anyways. And, um, they were, she said, they said they haven't seen you in three days. You haven't been to the site in three days. I was like, I am at my site every night. I have been here every day. <laughs> like, how they got that they haven't seen me in three days. I was like, Maybe because they sleep in and I'm gone. I'm out doing stuff in the Tetons because I'm on vacation and I'm alone. Like, is that a fucking K? And I was like, I have slept here every... She's like, well, you haven't been here every night. I'm like, yeah, I have. I said, I... I and I just waved at them because they have like a little razor that you ride around in. Or side by side, whatever. And their dog, like I was just petting your dog yesterday... And I was just at a fire with um, the people next to me, on the other side of me, than the stupid idiot boys that were only there for two fucking nights. They were only there two nights. So I don't know how they say I haven't been there in three days. So anyway, and then she's like, oh, well, I'm just glad you're okay. Like, oh, I, yeah, we, I was so worried about you. Um, you know, we didn't damage your tent. They, they just like uprooted it and then rolled it in a fucking ball and dragged it over to their area to in the, laying in the grass and I'm like no that's alright she's like can I help you and she's like trying to pull my sticks out of my tent I'm like no like just fuck off like I'm like okay like I get that you're doing your job alright so I shouldn't be that upset but it just didn't make any fucking sense to me at all like that's bullcrap so anyway and that's not even it. I'm like, if that's the worst thing that happens to me, then fine. But, like, when you go and you think that somebody took your tent. And I'm like, my sleeping bag was in there. My tent. my I didn't leave a lot in there. But, like, I need my bag. <laughs> I didn't want to buy a new bag and a new tent and a new uh, lantern and whatever. And my pillow. Like, so, anyway. All's well. I'm gonna go get a shower and do laundry, and then it's three hours to my campsite in Yellowstone. So we're headed to Yellowstone, and I love how people ride your ass through these parks when you're not supposed to be going as fast as you are. Like, bye, Wyoming. Well, I'm so in Wyoming, but bye Buffalo and the Tetons. Where are the Buffalo roam? On little calves. Another beautiful morning though.
right, we are packed up and headed to Yellowstone. It's about 10 till 10 right now. All these dead trees, that's crazy. I remember seeing shit like this in South Dakota. We're in Yellowstone. I didn't realize how close that we were. Um, so yeah, I missed the sign, but I'm going to the whole other end of the park, I'm pretty sure. So it's still gonna be a couple hours before I get where I'm going. This isn't really a good pull off, but it is just like a huge canyon down in there. And people are fucking flying. Like, I it makes me so mad. It's like, why are you gonna fly when you know that people are pulling, constantly pulling off to look at things? Like, like I had to like, just to pull over. Like I, ugh. so don't be that guy, guys. Don't be that freaking guy. Look, my chest is getting super light. My face, look at this compared. So I'm like an hour been driving like an hour through Yellowstone already up just about and like there's no bathroom like there's still no bathroom and I have to pee and I'm thirsty but I don't want to start drinking my water until I find a potty and there's really like I mean I could walk into the woods I mean I'm gonna have to if I have to but like y'all don't got a vault toilet like wh why I understand I have zero service out here so far but um, why don't you have more vault toilets or anything out here so I'm hunting I'm hunting a toilet turn right onto US 191 North US 287 North I'm bad lighting. I'm in Montana at my site. There's absolutely no phone service. So I just text my mom from the Garmin. Um, we'll see how I like that. Um, I, I'm kind of, I'm glad that I don't because I wanted to try to be in solitude and I'm not really because I have service and I get on Instagram and text people and call them and so we'll just see what goes on the host is super nice my view is super incredible of this mountain um yeah oh my god I could work on videos too later so there's that because I definitely need to work on them I have so many so much and I'm not even done with my trip so hopefully my phone doesn't run out of space I'm gonna eat oh yeah I wish I had more beer but I am not leaving I am not leaving. I'm whooped. I'm gonna set my tent up. Yeah. Pink. This is probably going to be the best meal that I've had. All these baby calves too. Okay, so I left camp. So I left camp, and the campsite host said that 
I should go out and see Old Faithful at sunset because it's awesome. So I'm waiting for it to go. But literally from my campsite, Old Faithful is a hundred, a hundred, um, an hour and 20 minutes. So I drove an hour and 20 minutes. I'm just like exhausted. Dinner was great. Um, I don't know why I'm feeling really stressed out. I think it has mostly to do with my father stressing me out, like telling me I need to come home now for no reason at all. So we're out here just waiting. But um, I'm just like, I've made it this far and so far I've been so lucky and I just hope that the rest of my trip continues to be so lucky. <laughs> but you can never predict that, so. Mm -hmm. The mosquitoes are killer, by the way. Still waiting, but it's beautiful. It really is. Ah. <laughs>